Welcome to Flexor by Camerivox. This video shows the use of Flexor, a unified communications application compatible with Microsoft Outlook. This slide shows the key benefits of Flexor. Flexor is a simple to use but powerful software product that connects telephony systems to CRM applications. It doesn't require a server, so it's perfectly suited to businesses of all sizes who want to immediately enjoy the benefits it provides. In this video, we visit a fictitious organisation called Solandi to see how they might use Flexor. Solandi's head office uses a TAPI compliant phone system and the sales team use Microsoft Outlook. Some users might also work from home or be on the road and use Skype or VoIP phones when away from the office. All employees use Flexor because even though they might not be in sales, the organisation benefits as a whole from the unification features of Flexor. Now let's look more closely at Flexor. Flexor is quickly and easily installed on each user's PC. It doesn't require any server software. It is also quick and easy to connect to your telephone system. The main window of Flexor is called On Screen and shows your organisation at a glance. You can see it here on the left of the screen. It shows your status, allows you to click to dial or divert calls, maintain a list of favourites, have instant message conversations and view the status and activities of all your colleagues. Another key window of Flexor is the call summary window. The window appears whenever a call is received or made and is at the bottom right of the desktop in this clip. The call summary window shows details of the caller and information such as called ID and IVR information. Call control such as hold and transfer are accessed from this window and can be used alongside normal manual use of the phone. Access to the CRM system is also enabled from the call summary window. Now let's see Flexor in use in our fictitious company Solandi. We are going to look at a new employee called Jane and how she benefits from using Flexor. Jane is a sales agent and she gets a call from a new prospect who hasn't been in contact with the company before and is not in their database. In the example, she will capture the lead and confirm some details with a colleague using instant messaging. Jane is about to receive the call and the call summary window will appear for the new lead. She can see the caller ID of the caller, but the caller is not in the company's CRM database, so Flexor can only show certain details about the call. However, the called ID shows the main Slandy line and the IVR details show the inquiries about Solandi's Solex 4000 product. She can answer the call manually using the phone or by clicking the answer call button. On speaking to the caller, sure enough, the call is inquiring about the Solex 4000 product. And so Jane decides to create a new record in the CRM database for this new lead. She enters the caller's name, Bob Brewster, and Flexor has already populated the phone number field. In this fictitious example, the caller is phoning from Microsoft. Although no record for Microsoft was in Solandi's database, Flexor has managed to look up the number on the internet and found certain details. When details are found, this icon appears and Jane can click to examine the detail. She can see where the caller is based, helping build a better rapport, and can easily copy the company details to the CRM database. With the details taken and the record created, Jane continues to talk to the customer. Jane is new to her job and the customer asks a pricing question. Jane isn't sure about the answer, but can use Flex or Chat to quickly confirm pricing with her manager. Without letting on to the customer that Jane had to refer to a colleague, Jane confirms the pricing for five units of the Solex 4000. She tells the customer the pricing and makes a note in Microsoft Outlook. When the call is over, Jane can hang up using either Flex or the phone on this occasion, she hangs up using Flexor and the call summary window automatically closes. This slide provides a summary of how Flexor helped in the scenario we've just seen. In a moment, we're going to see Jane using Flexor to make an outbound call. The next day, Jane is going through her list of current leads and calls Bob back using click to dial. She collects feedback from Bob and is also going to need to transfer Bob to a support engineer to answer a technical question. She begins by finding Bob in Microsoft Outlook. She reminds herself of the customer history and then makes a call. Jane talks to the customer who explains all is well and they expect to be making a purchase soon. 
Jane decides to take some notes about the call in Microsoft Outlook by clicking the Journal button in the call summary window of Flexor. During the conversation, the customer has a technical question about the product. Jane explains the customer is best to talk to a technical support engineer. The customer is happy to be transferred, so Jane uses Flexor on screen to find a free support engineer. She does a consultative transfer so that she can speak to the engineer first before putting the customer through. Transfers are very straightforward in Flexor and are done using drag and drop. The call is made to technical support. Jane explains the situation and technical support are happy to take the call. So Jane completes the transfer and drops out of the call, connecting the customer to technical support. Finally, she saves her comments in Microsoft Outlook. This slide provides a summary of how Flexor helped in the scenario we've just seen. In a moment, we're going to see what happens when Bob calls Jane back. The next day, Bob calls Jane back and wants to place an order. Jane is going to have to check pricing with her manager, Annie but Annie is working from home. The call comes in and Flexor shows the caller's details from Microsoft Outlook in the call summary window. Before answering the call, Jane opens the full contact details in Microsoft Outlook for Bob. She clicks to answer the call and then while talking to Bob, reminds herself of Bob's call history. She can see the full history of calls made and received to Bob. Bob wants to do a deal, but wants some non-standard credit terms. Jane must check with the manager, Annie, that this is OK, so she puts Bob on hold. Jane uses Flexor on screen to see if her manager, Annie, is available and sees that she is working from home today. It's an important deal, so Jane decides to call Annie on her home VoIP line. Flexor now shows two calls, one for Bob who is on hold and one for Annie. Annie confirms the credit terms are acceptable, so Jane ends the call with Annie and reconnects to Bob. Jane is happy to tell Bob all is OK and they do the deal. Jane decides to take some final notes for the call in Microsoft Outlook, so she opens a journal window. She says goodbye to Bob and clicks to end the call. She makes her notes in Microsoft Outlook and then saves them. This slide provides a summary of how Flexor helped in the scenario we've just seen. Now we are going to leave Jane and in a moment we're going to see how her manager Annie benefits from Flexor too. Jane's manager is Annie. Annie is working from home today. She's using VoIP telephony. Flexor can mix and match phone systems and work anywhere on the internet. So when Annie uses Flexor from home, she appears as part of the organisation just as if she was on her tappy phone in the main office. Annie is pleased with how her new employee Jane is working out, but wants to keep an eye on Jane just in case she can be of help. The easiest way to do this is for Annie to search for Jane in the on-screen window and drag Jane to her favourites. She'll be able to see Jane's activities in real time and in particular whenever Jane is on a call. For instance, Annie can see when Jane phoned Microsoft in our earlier example. Not only does Flexor show Annie that Jane is on the phone, it shows who she is on the phone to. At the top of Annie's on-screen window is a status area, showing what her colleagues see about her status. What she sees is what they get. This is a very convenient way to see at a glance what others can see. But if Annie needs to make a private call, she can enable invisible mode which temporarily hides all details about a user's status from all other users. In the same way, Annie can change her status to show she is busy or out to lunch and so forth. This slide provides a summary of how Flexor helped in the scenario we've just seen. This concludes our brief overview of Flexor. We've only really covered its main features and the behaviour of Flexor is very configurable and has many options. It can be tailored to meet all users' needs and is suitable for all roles within an organisation. It is particularly useful to heavy users of telephony, but the unification features become even more powerful when all colleagues use Flexor. Thank you for watching this demonstration video. For more information on Flexor, please go to CameraVox's website, where you can find out about pricing and also download a free trial to start using Flexor today.